Uh, yeah, well, first I wanted to thank Sean again for organizing this and also Nick for being the angel, um, giving us I mean, an opportunity to meet some of my intellectual heroes and a lot of people um, that I hope to keep contact with. I think for me, the most valuable part of this conference, I think, is to have made contact with a lot of people that I can have discourse with in the future, particularly as I try to write this book on naturalism and theology. Um, and I will call on you at some point. Um, I guess the highlights for me of the meeting were, of course, the discussion of free will. I mean, that's something that I thought and read a lot about. And I guess I'm gratified that people seem to agree that it is a black hole of, with oh, and that's a black hole of philosophy. I, I continue to disagree with Dan that if we tell people they don't have free will, that society will fall apart. I mean, that argument's been made for retaining religion and things like that. But, but it hasn't happened in countries like Scandinavia. So I need to be convinced by more than just performance on whether you cheat or whether you are free will. Um, the discussion of entailment, I thought, was enlightening to me. Um, Stephen's presentation of that, how higher levels can derive from lower levels. I remain unconvinced that there is any qualitatively new phenomena that are not entailed by the laws of physics. But, you know, I haven't seen anything. I think a priori that just seems impossible. <laughs> Um, I appreciated Massimo's discussion, particularly at the end, on scientism and um, um, ways of knowing. Um, you know, it, it was of remarkable clarity, I thought, and I would have liked to discuss it longer. Um, one of the questions I have, which is unanswered in this meeting, is are there other ways of knowing besides sci through science? Um, is mathematics a form of science? Um, are all questions about the universe only resolvable through empirical observation. And I, I'm, I'm open on that question. <coughs> I hope to discuss it maybe some more with Dan on our drive back to Boston. Um, the questions that are unresolved to me, um, first of all, I've, about what naturalism is. I'm not sure still at this point what it is. We've had diverse definitions. I don't think we can move it forward until we know what it is, or at least we have a definition that we all agree on. But I, I think Owen made the point that he doesn't think that we've moved naturalism forward um, much here. And I think he's right, but I don't think that this is the kind of venue to move naturalism forward. I can, the venue to move naturalism forward is in the political realm, because you dispel superstition through improving the lots of people in the world so that they don't have to turn to superstition. So my, I mean, the best thing I can say to do to, to move naturalism forward is to vote for Obama. <laughs> so, um, Things I wish we had discussed more are the concept of morality and moral responsibility. Do they have any meaning? Is, what, is, is there a real meaning to being responsible versus morally responsible? And um, I hear diverse opinions about that. I'm not sure how I feel about Well, actually, I, do, I don't think that people are morally responsible. I think they're responsible in a technical sense, but that's all. Um, uh, the other ways of knowing question I've mentioned, that's something I'm extremely interested in and I'll probably be corresponding with some of you about. Um, this is, of course, used to enable theism. Religious people say faith is another way of knowing. And we have all these other ways of knowing that are efficacious, like in art, literature, and music, so why not through revelation as well? And I have to answer this question in my book, and I'm not sure yet how to do it. Um, I wish we had talked more about the nature of reality. What do we mean by reality? Um, Stephen said everything is real, including God, but only in the sense that Santa Claus is real. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what he meant, but except an idea has a reality, which to me is different from what I conceived of as a reality before. Um, what I changed my mind about, and to me this is a, a substantial change, is, is based on what Sean and Dan and other people said. Um, I wrote on my website this morning that I did not think that the formal discipline of the philosophy of science had any contribution to make to moving science forward. Um, discussion this morning, I realize now that that's not true, and I am going to correct myself about that. And I, I will correct myself on that. Um, I hope with Dan, based on our discussion, free will would also correct himself by saying <laughs> that now he agrees that free will is equivalent to morally competent volition. So I'll, I'll, I'll make a deal with him that I'll. Renee, if, if he'll admit that somewhere in print. I, I've already said it in talks. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, but people might want to edit it out because it's politically <laughs> no, inexpedient. Oh, okay. Where, where I talk about free will as, as 
as moral competence. Yeah, I think you and I would still disagree on what we mean by that. But anyway, that's the last point I wanted to make. And I thank everybody for talking to me and Sean and Nick for helping arrange the whole thing.